It's the final game of the homestand against the White Sox Twins going for the sweep. The White Sox have dropped their last eight here at Target Field. And handing the ball to Simeon Woods Richardson. Today marks his first start at Target Field. Nicky Lopez coming up and we're ready to go. This one lined in the air center field for Austin Martin. And Martin will race in and make the catch and there's one down. And it will bring up Danny Mendick. Pitch swung on and foul tipped into the glove and Mendick is down on strikes. He threw this ball and almost felt like he was going to get a swing and miss as he released it. He and you see the little hop off the mound at the end. These next two hitters, Sheets and Jimenez, I don't know about the first pitch fastball to these two guys, so he went to his slider, missed. Check swing, did he go? He did. Sheets could not hold back. And the inning is over. Simeon Woods Richardson fans a pair in the one, two, three, top of the first. They will turn to Michael Soroka, the right hander, still looking for his first win with the White Sox. Alex Kirilov, who's playing left, leads off for the Twins. And he walks Kirilov on four pitches as he misses wide here as Julian digs in. And a swing and a high fly ball, right center field. Sheets moving to his right, and he'll make the catch. Ryan Jeffers running a seven game hitting streak against the White Sox. Swing and a fly ball out in the left and it's Robbie Grossman under it and he's got it. On a couple of fly balls and Trevor Larnick will be the batter. Punch two left field and down a base hit turning and holding at second base is Kirilov so not hit all that hard but into a good spot. DeYoung could not get there nor Mendick and Larnick has a two out single. Max Kepler who returned to the lineup and has made an impact for the Twins. Five hits in the three game series. Kepler seeking his first home run. And he swings in lines and it's caught by Nicky Lopez who left his feet and snagged it before it found turf in the outfield. Third out here in this first. Top of the second. Sox and Twins from target field. Eloy Jimenez leads off. And that's inside ball four. So it was Richardson with a leadoff walk. And now Robbie Grossman's turn. There's Grossman smacks that one up the middle. And the first hit of the ball game for the White Sox comes here in the second. And Andrew Vaughn will be the hitter with two on and nobody out here in the second. And he swings and hits a soft line drive into right for a base hit. So the bases are loaded and he will gladly take that. Keep the line moving and let's see if we can take advantage. Bases full of Sox, nobody out in a scoreless tie. Kevin Pillar, fly ball to right. Tagging is Jimenez at third. They're going to send him home. The throw from Kepler. And Jimenez is safe at home. The White Sox strike first. They won nothing lead here in the second. And Paul DeYoung. Vaughn not moving from first. The 0-2 pitch. Swung on a miss. A big strike out there. Two down in the inning now for the bottom of the order, Corey Lee. Strike three called on the inside corner. Well, you had to a little wait and see and then Lee headed back to the dugout and Nate Tomlinson ripped the paper fourth strikeout for Woods Richardson and the White Sox stream two Castro retired and it'll be Carlos Santana tough play by Corey Lee and sliding makes the catch in front of the dugout nice hustle by Corey Lee two down but well, this is a terrific play because not only is it a short pop up because it didn't stay up very long oh, and a swing and a bouncer right to Mendick at third he'll pop the mitt and fire a strike to Vaughn. Twins go one, two, three. Danny Mendick, who struck out his first at bat. Breaking ball swung on and missed, and down goes Mendick. Jeffers will pick up that ball in the dirt and throw down to first base to complete the out, but that's five strikeouts now for Simeon Woods Richardson. His career high. Two out single for Gavin Sheets. One and two on Aloy Jimenez. At the end of the bat. And Julian. Julian under it makes the catch. Inning done. So a fly ball out. One down off the bat of Robbie Grossman. And now it'll be Andrew Vaughn. Andrew Vaughn goes to the right center field gap. He's going to round first base hard. He's trying for two. And he'll have a stand-up double with one out here in this top of the fourth. Got him swinging. Slider. And Pilar chased. And that's a new career high for Simeon Woods Richardson. Six strikeouts and counting. Here's DeYoung with a runner at second. Two outs. DeYoung rips it to left. And they're waving in Vaughn. He will score without a throw. The White Sox deliver here in this fourth. It's a 2 0 lead. He worked the count to 3 and 2, a very long at bat, finally getting the fastball he wanted. Yeah, and you don't want to let the White Sox, you know, stretch this thing out. And Lee delivers that one out into left. Back to back base hits for the White Sox with two outs. And for the Sox, their sixth hit of the ball game. White Sox still battling here in the fourth inning, up by two. On the ground, right side, Julian slides, dropped it, and now we'll have no play. 
And Lopez runs well, so Julian had to be perfect. And it's going to keep the inning alive. Everybody moves up 90 feet. Catches it on the big hop and then just pops out when he hits the ground. So ground caused fumble, but unable to make the play, but kept it from going to the outfield. Now Danny Mendick, 0 for 2 today. This is a pivotal part of this game right now. Base is loaded, two outs. The 1 1. Hit weakly on the ground. Woods Richardson will pobble, pick it up. Now throw in Santana. Makes the scoop to end the inning. One run in, they leave him loaded. On the bottom of the fourth, any new score. And when Michael is right, he's going to throw a lot of ground balls. As you can see for the season, it's over 50%. But today, three ground balls, six flyouts. As he gets the ground ball from Jeffers, and one down here in this bottom of the fourth. And there's the two out walk. Oh. Fly ball to right center. Pilar calling it off. And he makes it right in front of the wall. Nicely done for Michael Soroka. Quiet day so far for the Twins offensively, but they have Julian Jeffers and Larnick coming up. And it's the day of Michael Soroka. The guy in the box with power. Julian a swing and a drive into right field, and deep back it goes and gone. You mentioned power, and Julian responds. Above that high wall in right center field. Team leading, sixth home run. That was one of the few mistakes that Michael has made this afternoon, and Julian took advantage of it. Now it's going to be up to Jeffers. Tamers won to left this one carrying and this ball's gone twins go back to back and we're tied 2-2 at target field Jeffers sitting all over that first pitch slider following up the Julian home run and now Pedro Grafol is coming out and he'll make a change there's a line drive base hit in the left in the center field Larnick with a two hit day Kepler has walked and lined out check swing ground ball that's going to stay fair and Kepler is going to have an infield hit Nobody's covering third base, and now Nicky Lopez. When it goes bad for the Chicago White Sox, it goes bad. Well, here's Willie Castro to bat. He lines a base hit to left. Larnick around third, heading home. He will score. Kepler stops at second base, and the Twins take the lead. It's 3-2. Five hits in a row. Banks came in and did not retire a single batter. Larnick, good at bat, singled. Then Kepler just a swinging bunt, and then a base hit, Willie Castro. Carlos Santana bats two on. There's the ground ball, could be two. The flip to second. DeYoung over to first, and two turn. Check swing grounder to first. This one's going to work out for the Sox, however. Vaughn will take it to the bag. And the inning is over, but a lot of damage. Three home, and the Twins lead 3-2 as we head to the seventh. Two fly ball outs, and Julian will be the hitter. From Grebe and Julian sends it to left field. This one carrying back to the track, to the wall, and that is gone! It just kept on going. Julian goes oppo once again. It's a multi-homer game for the second-year twin, and it's now a 4-2 game. Homers and back-to-back at-bats. This one, 40 degrees of launch. Bottom of the eighth, it's 4-2 twins. Two outs, and here's Carlos Santana in the works. Line drive, deep right field. Home run number four, Carlos Santana with his first-round trip of the year, and the twins lead it. Five to two. Carlos hit 17 of them in this building wearing a different colored uniform, and it's nice to see him circle the bases in those gorgeous Twin Cities creams. Here's Miranda. Miranda sends one high and deep to left field. Grossman back at the track. That's gone. Twins go back to back once again, and it's now six to two. That ball's jumping to left field. Nothing Robbie could do but look up into the seats. Have a 6-2 lead, three outs away from completing a four-game sweep. Stephen Oker. Corey Lee starts it off with a single to right field. Ground ball to second. Shovel to second over to first. And a double play turn, two down. It's challenging the call at second base, and the call at first. Yeah, I think he did get a piece of the bag at second, but I think he'll be safe at first. After review, the call at second base is confirmed. The runner is out. The call at first base is overturned. The runner is safe. Okert, a rough night. The tying runs coming to the plate in the person of the dangerous Aloy Jimenez. There's just one out in the inning, and we're going to have ourselves a pitching change. Pitch. Swung and a missed. He struck him out. Bases loaded. Two outs. We're in the ninth. 6-2 twins. Grossman hits a ground ball toward right. Under the glove of Santana. It kicks off Julian. And the White Sox get a run. So the bases remain loaded. Andrew Vaughn right side. Julian has this one. He completes the play and the Twins win the game and sweep the four game series. 6-3 the final score today. The Twins with a 5-2 homestand.